वेलकम बैक आई एम योर कंप्यूटर टीचर मिस हेमा मेहरा टुडे वी विल बी रिवाइजिंग चैप्टर नंबर वन नो योर कंप्यूटर इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल फर्स्ट स्टडी अबाउट व्हाट इज कंप्यूटर सो दिस इज कॉमन नाउ व्हाट इज कंप्यूटर कंप्यूटर इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस विच इज यूज टू प्रोसेस डेटा टू फाइंड आउट द आउटपुट right and further about this topic further in this chapter we will learn different types of computer like micro computer mini computer super computer and mainframe computer along with this we will also learn how this computer work and we will also study the working of a cpu and the working of a computer so without wasting a time let's move to the ppt and learn know your computer know your computer system what is computer computer is one of the most useful man made machine now what is machine machine is a device or electronic device which is used to make your work easy computer its utility area can be from a small shop to large scientific research center these are also found in other machine to make them work smartly we will now learn about these machine with different working capability and also how do they work now types of computer computer is based on their working capability computer can be categorized as micro computer mini computer mainframe computer and super computer micro computer micro computer these are journal purpose computers used in schools office shop etc they are smaller in size and used to do multi purpose job micro computer are the least powerful and most commonly used computer system their main characteristic or qualities are follows these are portable computer that means they can be easily carried from one place to another they are small in size also they do not have a large storage capacity next is mini computer mini computer these are more capable machine and are used by companies and small organizations for providing services to large number of companies used by their employees their working speed and storage capacity is much more than micro computer main mini computer these computer are more powerful than micro computer now there are some important qualities of mini computer such as they are faster and powerful than micro computer these computer can perform more complex task and 
these are larger in size and have processing speed mini computers are more expensive than micro computer and their design to serve multiple user simultaneously mini computer are designed for scientific research data collection computer designing and for industrial purpose now the next type of computer we have is main frame computers these machines are even more powerful than mini computer and are mainly used by big organization such as bank railways universities etc for providing services to the large number of computer connected together these are also used for scientific research purpose now let's see what are the main features of mainframe computer these computer are larger than mini computers and their main characteristics or qualities are mainframe computers have high processing speed and can store large amount of data and mainframe computer have a large internal memory that means you can store a large amount of data in mainframe computer these computer consume more electricity and these type of computers are very expensive as compared to mini computer they can support thousands of users at one time mainframe computer are used in bank bank institute stock exchange insurance company where the data is stored very large now nowadays mainframe computer are the backbone of the entire business world next is super computers super computers these are the most powerful computers and are very expensive too these are generally used for doing complex job such as weather forecasting satellite or missile control operations param 10000 param yuva etc are the super computers designed by india now this is a fact time fact is that param 8000 is india's first super computer now let's learn something more about super computer super computer are considered as the most powerful computer their main characters or qualities such as these computer are the largest and the fastest computer in the world they have very high processing speed they have extremely large storage capacity and these types of computer that means super computer are most expensive and they are difficult to design NASA and ISRO 
uses supercomputer to track and control space discoveries supercomputer are also used in nuclear energy research military agencies and petroleum explorations computers in other machines nowadays most of the electronic gadgets are equipped with computer chip it help these machines also to work smartly these machines such as television video game smartphone and atm atm means automated teller machine this machine help us to take money anywhere around the world now let's learn how does computer system work working of the computer system is very much similar to the working of human being like a human brain a human brain is a process work process after taking the instruction that is input through senses like ear or eyes and produces the desired result and that is called output similarly computer also take the input of a problem through device such as keyboard mouse process it in the computer in the brain called cpu and the full form is cpu is known as the central processing unit and at last it gives the desired output through monitor or printer now this working cycle is known as ipo cycle where i stand for input p stand for processing and o stand for output and there is one more thing which is very important that is storage in this process input can be carried with the keyboard or mouse and storage is carried with the hard disk processing is only carried with the cpu as this cpu is considered as the brain of a computer next output output is can be carried with the printer and monitor now next topic is knowing the cpu as we all know brain is the most important part of our body or human body system similarly cpu is the most important part of the computer system it perform all type of data processing and also control the working of entire computer system now it has that means cpu has mainly three part in it first is arithmetic and logical operation arithmetic and logical unit it stands as alu second is control unit that is c u the third one is memory unit it stand as m u okay now again a fact file the work done by the cpu on the data given as 
an input to produce the useful result is called processing now arithmetic and logical unit this unit perform all the mathematical and logical operation mathematical operation such as 2 plus 2 10 plus 10 and so on and logical operation means where you have to use the human brain like some correct answer or to find some uh, something around the world that is comes under a logic next one is control unit this unit helps to coordinate the working of various part of the computer last one not least that is memory unit this unit store the data and instructions to be processed so we have learned the three parts of cpu it stands alu cu mu so here is the end of our chapter number 1